they, uh, we went riding today, and uh, I don't know, I'll get the shadow here. We're riding a my bike back here. We rode up here to Penn Argyle, PA, to uh, stop at uh, Jane Manfield's um, grave site, her final resting place. On the evening of June 28, 1967, Jane Manfield had a show in Biloxi, Mississippi, at a club called the Gus Stevens Supper Club. She and her companion and attorney Sam Brody and the three to her three children left in a 1966 Buick Electra driven by Ronnie Harrison who was only 20 years old. I'll bet you he didn't keep his eye on the road, huh? <laughs> anyway, the, the group was headed to New Orleans so Jane could do a television show the next day. On their route, they passed a waterway called the Rigolette. They proceeded to travel down a winding narrow stretch of the two-lane route known as the Old Spanish Trail US-90. About 2.25 a.m., they passed over this bridge, then passed through the curve in the road. Came up on an insecticide truck. They killed, they slammed into the back end of the truck. It killed Brody, killed Ronnie, and killed Jane Mansfield. The car plowed underneath the truck, and it was spraying chemicals for insecticide, which made it very foggy. The impact sheared the top of the car off. The car was described as crumpled like a piece of tinfoil after a cookout. The three kids lived. She died on June 29, 1967. I caught up in a bunch of movies and I watched a bunch of hers and they were pretty good. My wife, she likes to look around. She's looking at some old tombstones, the old, the really old ones. But, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how she was discovered, but I'll post the link down below if I can find something, but there's a, there was a mystery that says her body was buried, there's a mist, there's rumor that she was buried here and her head was buried in California, but it's not true, her whole, her whole body's here, so that's just a rumor. And there was a museum that you could see the car she was killed in. It was a 1966 Buick Electra, I think. And when she rear-ended the truck, they had it at this museum. I can't remember the name of the museum. I'll post it below if I can find it. I think the museum is closed now, so you can't see it anymore. So I don't know what happened to the car. The inscription is, We live to love you more each day. And this is up in Penn Argyle, Pennsylvania, right off of 512 near Bangor, Pennsylvania. Oh, he's going on YouTube.